Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by today's video. It is an ultimate clean and cook with me. I'm going to be cleaning my very messy kitchen, living room, bathroom. I'm going to be scrubbing my oven and my sink, my microwave. I'm also going to be doing some deep cleaning as well as give you guys two crock pot meal recipes. It's the fall and in my opinion that's crock pot cooking season so I'm going to be cooking two yummy healthy and super easy soups that you're definitely going to want to stick around for and get these recipes because they were a I guess spoiler alert they were amazing they were a big hit in our house so after i clean up the kitchen living room and bathroom i'm going to be showing you those recipes and i'm excited for these If you guys are new here, I am Jamie. I'm a mom to three girls. I have a four and a half year old daughter named Avery and then twin six month old baby girls named Addison and Emery. I make a lot of cleaning, organization, and just mom life videos in general here on my channel. A clean home is super important to me. So I'm gonna be giving you guys cleaning motivation every single week. So I would love to have you guys subscribe. And if you do subscribe, by hitting that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell that will make for sure that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you guys are new here, please say hi in the comment section and tell me who you are and maybe something interesting about yourself because I love getting to know you guys. So as you can see, we had some chopped onion that was sitting on my island. If you guys aren't new to my channel, then you know that I hate to cook, like I really hate it. And I also hate to chop anything when I'm preparing food. My husband, being the wonderful husband that he is, always chops my vegetables for me. And it just makes things a lot easier when I actually cook the meals. So the night before, he chopped some onion for me so I could make the crock pot meals today. But obviously some of that got on the counter and I wanted to make for sure I got all of that gone. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but I wanna get to your bash. If you guys need some extra cleaning motivation, I'm going to post my cleaning playlist with all of my newest and latest cleaning motivational videos. You're definitely going to want to check these videos out. I have so many that can help motivate you whenever you need the motivation. So put it on your TV, put it on your tablet or your phone. I want you guys to clean along with me. So again, that will be down below in the description. So you can go ahead, click on it, save it for whenever you need it. So to scrub my stove and my sink, which you will see me do here in a minute, I use the Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. Barkeeper's Friend in general is a amazing cleaner that I always keep on hand. I also like using the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser on my sink and my stove, but I was out of that and awaiting a new shipment from Grove Collaborative. So I decided to use the Barkeeper's Friend. And then to shine and buff my stove, I was using a cleaner that I mix up myself. It is just a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap, about a fourth of a cup of rubbing alcohol, and then the rest water. And I think this is a really good cleaner to have on hand because it's a disinfectant and it cleanses. Brighter, brighter than a diamond 
Again, don't forget to subscribe. I make at least one cleaning video every single week here on my channel and lately I've been putting up two and I just love giving you guys motivation whether it's cleaning, recipe motivation, just motivation in general. So I would love to have you guys join my journey. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button in the and the notification bell and join my family. And then I moved on to cleaning out my oven. And to do that, I was using the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. I will have that linked down below. And it's a really good cleaner, as well as I use the Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleaner. I was just kind of using both because my oven was pretty messy. I try to do this cleaning in my oven about once a month at the very least, if not twice a month, so it doesn't get too bad and I don't have to bring out the big guns or scrub a ton. And I'll be honest with you guys, I hate cleaning my oven and my oven does not look perfect but after i clean it there still may be stains but i'm okay with that because it's my oven i'm not perfect nobody sees it and i think that these products do a pretty good job in cleaning all of you know the stuff that's caked on there stuff that gets burnt on there just the stuff that i know will come up and i know a lot of people like using baking soda and vinegar but honestly i think that just makes a huge mess and it's just so hard to get all out but I use these two products, it does a pretty good job. And again, I'm not perfect, but I feel like it's pretty good enough. If you could only say it's you, always you, and baby, I... And then next, I started cleaning my microwave and I tried to show you guys how it looked, but the camera just doesn't do it justice. I've noticed that all over my house. I could show you dirt and dust and all of that, but the camera doesn't pick up everything. But either way, I know my microwave wasn't horrible, but I still wanted to clean off all of the food splatters and crumbs in there. So I used a vinegar and water mixture that I had mixed up myself, sprayed it on there, let it sit for a minute or two, and then I was able to easily wipe everything down, clean it with a microfiber cloth. A microfiber cloth is key. I love these cloths, and I will also have those linked below, and I get them from Amazon. Yeah, and the image in my mind And again, don't forget to stick around for two super yummy, healthy meals that your family will love. I'm definitely adding both of these recipes into our meal rotation. So I, I talked about this in one of my last videos, but I think tonight, I know I'm making some crock pot meals tonight, but that's more for weeknight meals. I just, there's just no time during the week to make meals, prepare them. So I like to save the days that I have zero time for those meal prepped meals. So that's what the crock pot recipes will be for later. So tonight, I think I'm gonna make this and I featured this in my one of my latest cleaning videos and it's a cauliflower crust pizza. I saw this on Amy Darley's video. So I figured I would try it out. I love pizza. I could eat pizza all the time. It's my favorite. It's my favorite cheat meal. It's my meal that makes me feel good. And we have pizza at least once a week. So I'm excited to try this because it's a little healthier. I think 380 calories for half of the pizza and 16 grams of protein. So it's not all about calories necessarily, but I like the added protein. So I'll have to let you guys know how this is. If you have tried it, let me know down below if it's good. from you guys what's your favorite cleaning task or chore i personally really love mopping i also like scrubbing my sink i just find both so satisfying to have a clean floor or a clean sink because with the floor 
I can feel the difference on my feet and I just love when my floors are clean because I feel like it gets dirty pretty often. We have our dog, we have a cat, we have a four-year-old that who runs in and out can't seem to just you know stick to one she's always running in and out from playing outside but to clean my floors I'm using the Bono wood floor cleaner and I have two floor cleaners that I love and this is definitely one of my favorites but let me know down below what your favorite cleaning task or chore is I've tried sometimes but you're making me nervous no I've realized that I can't live without you If you guys want more daily updates or if you want to see more of my personal life and my kids, head on over to Instagram to follow me. The link to my Instagram will be down below in the description or you can search for Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey to follow me. And if you guys do clean along with me, I want you guys to let me know over on Instagram. It makes me feel so good when I know you guys get motivated and you clean along with me. So let me know over there. Tag me and I want to say hi to you guys. Let me know when you guys clean along with me. So a lot of you guys have been asking, but that is my dog, Reese. She is named after a Reese cup. We kind of said Reese, Reese, because I personally love Reese cups. I love chocolate and peanut butter, but she is such a good dog. We hit the jackpot with her. She is amazing with the babies and Avery, and she's just the best dog ever. She is a yellow lab golden retriever mix. And then I wanted to clean the bathroom off of our kitchen. I say this all of the time, but this is the bathroom that is the main room, bathroom off of our kitchen. It's the only bathroom on the main level. So this bathroom gets used the most by us because we're in our kitchen and living room a lot. And then when people come over, they use this bathroom. So I try to make for sure this bathroom is wiped down or cleaned pretty frequently. And to clean most of this bathroom, I'm using the Method Antibacterial Cleaner. I wanted to quickly wipe down the floors in this bathroom, so I was just using the Bona floor cleaner that is made for ceramic and tile. They have one that is made for wood flooring and then one that is made for ceramic and tile. And because this bathroom is small, I just a lot of times will find it easier just to hand mop. I'm cleaning here in the living room. I don't know if some of you guys have noticed, I've mentioned it before in some of my other videos, but our leather ottoman is falling apart. We've had this for, I think we've had this ottoman for about 10 years, and I just think from wear and tear, it is falling apart, and I love it because there's so much storage. But one of you guys um, here on YouTube messaged me, Shelly, I think is her name, and sent me a YouTube video of someone who was able to fix a leather chair and so it's basically leather paint um, now I've had a lot of people message me and give me tips but it you can see that it's like flaked off so I'm like well you can't fix unless you put like leather new leather on there so it's there it's on the corner right there it's really bad over here but 
I checked out the video and it looks like this paint really does work. I'm still skeptical, but watching the video, it looks legitimate and reading other reviews. So I'm gonna try it, I'm really excited. So stay tuned, I will update you guys if this works. We are getting new furniture here very soon. Again, we've had our furniture for I believe 10 years and it's just been through a lot and we want new furniture. We just haven't had the time to go shopping yet. And I just don't wanna buy anything new right now because when we get our new furniture, I don't know how it's gonna look. I don't know what color it'll be. So I don't wanna buy anything new for this area right now. I wanna wait until after we get that furniture. So if I could have something that can hold us over until we get new furniture, that would be amazing. So stay tuned, I'm super excited. I hope it works. Now that my cleaning is done, I'm going to start meal prepping my meals. So I have my little setup here. This is my crock pot. This is my mother-in-law's crock pot she's letting me borrow. We're actually not going to be eating these any of these meals tonight. I'm just solely meal prepping them. I'd prefer to have these meals when it's just like a busy weeknight that we can just pull out of the freezer. So I am excited. So over here I'm making chicken taco chili because I think any form of chili is amazing and I'm just switching it up a little bit. This is a skinny taste recipe. And then over here, I'm making a lemon chicken soup. So basically it is like a chicken soup, but without the noodles and I'm substituting some zucchini noodles. So I've never tried this. I'm excited because who doesn't love a chicken noodle soup in the winter, the fall or the winter time, but I'm just making it a little bit less carby, I guess, just as a way to make it a little bit more healthy but I'm gonna get going and prepping these. I've asked you guys before, but let me know some of your favorite crock pot meals, especially for the fall and the winter. We use our crock pot, well you guys know, all of the time, but I use it way more because in the summer we'll grill a lot outside. So in the winter, fall and winter, we do a lot of crock pot cooking. So let me know your favorite meals, your favorite soups, because I love soups. Pretty much anything, they're just usually pretty easy to dump a bunch of cans into the crock pot. So let me know down below some of your favorite fall and winter crock pot meals. Oh, and both of these are super easy, super simple, pretty basic ingredients. This one, you pretty much just dump everything in. So if you guys wanna watch these meals, you need something quick and easy, also very healthy, then stick around. I will have both recipes for these meals linked down below in the description so you know exactly what I'm putting in here with all of the ingredients, the measurements, and all of that. But this first one that I was making was a chicken taco chili. I personally love chili. I could eat chili in the middle of the summertime when it's 90 degrees, but I love it, especially during the fall and the winter time. And I just find it so good. And so I like finding different varieties and ways to make it because I love it so much and this one was definitely a hit and I mixed up my own seasoning but you can just use a taco seasoning if that would be easier and better if you wanted to we also love chicken that's our go-to meal recipe um, ingredient so I'm always looking for chicken meals And then the next meal was pretty much a chicken noodle soup without the traditional noodles, which is something we all need during this, you know, flu season that is upon us. So just before I did have to prep some celery, onion, and garlic. I just needed to saute them in a pan and then I dumped it in the crock pot with some carrots that I had just bought already pre-sliced. They were the carrot chips. And then I threw in some bay leaves and then just added the chicken on top and then the chicken broth. And of course, all of the seasonings, um, and you can find that down below in the actual recipe. And then afterwards, I added some zucchini noodles. You can either add them about 30 minutes or so before the rest of the meal is done in the crock pot because you don't want them to be mushy.
I am done. I have a clean house. Feels so good. Got my meals going. So I just feel super accomplished. I got like how many meals that we will have between those two recipes. My house is clean. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my rest of the day. I want you guys to stick around because I will be showing you guys those meals and what they look like and what the verdict is and how good they are. But I hope they're good because if I can find a healthy meal that I enjoy, it's even better. So stay tuned. Okay, so these here are the freezer meals. Now normally what I do is when they're still warm, I will take this and I set it on my pan. So I know my pan looks super gross, but I will lay it here. So what I'll do is I'll lay it like this. So obviously this would be more liquidy. I'll lay it like this and a couple other ones in the freezer. So when it freezes, it will freeze completely flat. So it's easy to stack in the bottom of our freezer. But I was so tired after I cleaned and I made these meals that I was, I, I poured, I portioned these out in about a cup to a cup and a half. It's nice just because they're already portioned out and sometimes I want this and Mike doesn't. So I just pop this out, I can defrost it super easily and then like the rest of the meals are still healthy and not defrosted. Um, but I was so tired, I had all of these portioned out and they were sitting on the counter to get cooled off and I was just so tired that Mike threw them in the freezer for me and he just didn't flatten them, which is fine. It's not a big deal. They still all fit in the freezer, but normally I will flatten them completely just because you can get more stacked up, if that makes sense. But this is how I portion these meals. So this is how I lay them in here in this little bin in the bottom of my freezer so I can easily pull it out. Um, and they just kind of lay all on here so they're easy to grab. Okay, so here is the chicken taco chili. And it doesn't look much of like a soup, so I don't know if I didn't add something right, or I'll have to go back and look at the recipe. But to be honest with you guys, it doesn't really bother me because it's still super good, even though it's not like a soup consistency. And so I didn't make anything to go along with this, but I think it would be good with rice or even I could add it to a tortilla shell, so. But it has a lot of flavor, so if you guys are looking for a different chili recipe, especially with some chicken, I would definitely suggest trying this one out. And here is the second soup that I made. So this is the chicken soup, and I added the zucchini noodles, which for me personally, I think it does a good job as a substitution. I don't know, I'm perso personally not a big noodle person in general, so it's easy for me to do a substitution. So if you guys are really missing that noodle, then I don't know, maybe you'll have, you could add some noodles if you wanted to, but I, and I don't think the zucchini has much of a flavor, which is fine because of the broth and the soup, I feel like has a really good flavor. The seasonings that I added, I don't know, just a really good flavor and it tastes like a traditional chicken noodle soup. So definitely another good soup to add into your rotation, especially as flu, cold and flu season here is upon us. This is a good one that we always like to keep on hand. So, and again, I like how it's a little bit healthier, but I am gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish our dinner. But I hope you guys enjoyed both of these recipes.